When we think of DIA's heroes, John Reynolds personifies excellence in defense of the nation. There is little doubt that the Soviet Union did embark upon a bold venture to establish a list of key regime leaders who must be pursued and brought to justice. It's 1965, and the United States is just getting involved in the start of the Vietnam War. John Reynolds was a young Air Force pilot who went through the complete training in various jets and then graduated to be an F-100 fighter pilot, and then later on was selected to fly the F-105 fighter bomber. The date was November 28, 1965. Reynolds was most likely shot down by an anti-aircraft missile. The airplane was on fire and I had no controls, I bailed out. After John Reynolds was captured, he was taken immediately to the Hanoi Hilton. A part of the Hanoi Hilton is the Heartbreak Hotel, and that was his first stop. Heartbreak Hotel was in the Hanoi Hilton, and it was a cell block that almost every prisoner started out in. Cells in the area were about eight foot by eight foot. Some people were in solitary confinement for four years, five years, six years. DI was at the forefront of tracking where these POWs were, how are they doing, and planning and assisting and supporting with intelligence rescue operations. In the middle part of his time, he was at a prison camp called Sonte. On Friday, November 20th, a small rescue team successfully landed by helicopter at a reported prisoner of war compound at Sante. The Sante rescue has been called the most daring raid of the Vietnam War. It was deep behind enemy lines. It was right over my head. It started off with about six sonic booms. Operating in darkness, Colonel Simons and his men landed entered and searched the compound. Regrettably, the rescue team discovered that the camp had recently been vacated. Although the prisoners were not there, there were several key positive outcomes from the raid. The prisoners who were nearby, only 15 miles away, immediately knew about the rescue. They knew that the Americans were coming for them and had not forgotten them. It changed the captors. They got off our back. Finally. John Reynolds was captured in November of 1965 and not released until February of 1973, so just over seven years he spent in confinement in Vietnam. Being a prisoner of war was not a total waste of time. I think we all came home as better people, better men. God bless America. After he was rescued and brought back to the United States, he married, he had children. He ended up pursuing a PhD at Duke University. He came to DIA, and he went through our joint military attache school. After returning from Beijing as the attache to China, John Reynolds became the deputy director for our DAS. He was put in charge of managing that entire defense attache system. Look at the entirety of his service from pilot to seven years as a POW to attache to senior officer and leader here at DIA. You see a life of service and honor. He is a true American hero.